It tests in me It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go! When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Good afternoon, Greater St. Matthews family, and to all my little saints, I want to say praise the Lord. It's another Sunday that we could come and worship God in spirit and in truth. And I'm so glad you have come to our little corner, Kia's Corner, where we believe in worshiping and praising God. I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm so glad that you have come to join us. And we hope that you will enjoy what you hear with your ears and what you see with your eyes and, and what your heart will feel uh, in this worship experience. We want you to have fun and enjoy what God has given us. Uh, let us pray. Father, thank you. Thank you for this time that you allowed us to come and worship you. We pray that you would bless everyone who uh, were witness to this program. We pray that you would open their hearts, that they receive your word and bless them to be better. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> What's up, <Pete? laughs> Hey, do you hear me? What's up? Say, see, see. Excuse me? Say, see. That's not how you spell cat. You don't know about the D. It means cat talk. Taxi! Hey, Pete. Maybe you can help me figure out what this code is. I-L-Y-4-E-V-A. That's cool. That's what it means? Cool? Man, you blow my mind. No, it's cool that you got a text like that. It means God love you forever. Who sent you this text? Pete, it's from God. Do you know God loves you? We're living in a technology world and everybody is texting and uh, communicating with each other. Matter of fact, some of us love to text, then talk. If God was here today in the flesh, 2020, uh, he would use a telephone and he would communicate with us. And he would send a code uh, to us as well in a text. Uh, he would say, I-L-Y-4-E-V-A. Now you may say, what do that mean? Well, uh, you may not be up to date with technology and know what those letters mean, but there is a meaning to that. And, and God been texting uh, before texting was texting. He texted his prophets and his prophets uh, told the people what God said. And that's how uh, Israel was able to obey God. Uh, so the telephone uh, in this day and time is how we communicate with one another. The code is, I love you forever. God will always love you. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross so that you uh, may have eternal life. He sent his son to show how much he loved you. And, and by him sending his son, he made it a way that we could have a relationship with him and so we could be with him in heaven when this life is over. God have uh, love is cannot be contained. It's like a trash can. Uh, have a trash can 
And you know a trash can, when it gets full, it has to be taken out. The trash must be taken out. So what we do, we take the trash out of the trash can and we put a new liner into the can because the can can only hold so much and it will start overflowing and trash will be on the floor and everywhere else. But God love does not work like a trash can. God love cannot be contained. Uh, I don't care how big a trash can you get. I don't care if you get a dumpster. Uh, God love will, will overflow. And so I don't care how bad your day been. I don't care how many mistakes you made today in your, in your life. God still loves you. And he loves you uh, because uh, he, he proved it by sending his son Jesus to die on the cross. Now, God love is action. God love is action. Uh, uh, he put his love in action when he sent his son. That was action. When his son gave his life, that was put in action to prove to us that he loved us. Now, uh, you may say, well, how can I love uh, my, my parents? When your parents give you an order and you obey them, that's showing love. When, 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 when the Bible say, uh, children obey your parents in the law for this is right. That's love when you obey. When they tell you to clean your room, that's love when you obey. When they tell you to take the, the, the trash out, that's, that's love. Why am I whispering? Because a lot of you don't like to take the trash out. When your parents tell you to take the trash out, you show them love when you take the trash out. Uh, when they tell you to go to school and behave yourself. Why? Because they don't want you to be a classroom clown disrupting the class. That's love when you obey your parents and, and go to school and learn. So, so that's how you put your love in action for your parents. And then uh, God love is not, uh, it's, it's, it's also everlasting. Jeremiah 31 and 3 tells us, I have loved you with an, with an, an, an everlasting love. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Jeremiah 31, 3. So God texted Jeremiah this message to give to the children of Israel. I love you. And God loves you. And, and in our scripture, uh, uh, St. Luke, the 23rd chapter, Jesus died between two criminals. And one of them was uh, rebuking him. And the other one wanted to find out about him. And he just said, Lord, remember me when you go into your kingdom. And Jesus looked at him and he said, this day you'll be with me in paradise. Why did Jesus say that? Because of love. He had an everlasting love for that thief who didn't pay attention to him when he was, was walking among the people. But he was so busy stealing that he, uh, he, he found himself enjoying stealing, then finding out about Jesus' love. But on the cross, Jesus said, I love you and you're going to be with me. An uh, everlasting love. You may not... No one may have ever tell you that, that they love you. I'm telling you today that God loves you. Always God loves you. Now, our everlasting love is with the toilet paper here. We see that this may last a long time. And I hope I can roll this off before the, uh, the time runs out on us. But this rolls a long time. Uh, this lasts a long time, long time. Uh, and you may think, well, when's it going to end? When's it going to end? But maybe if I roll it this way, uh, it may be faster. But look here, it finally, it's the end. There's no more toilet paper. But, but you know what? God loves never runs out. Toilet paper runs out. But God love never runs out. And 
And, and so when things don't go your way, God's love is with you always. He said, I'm the same today as yesterday and forevermore. So he will always love you. Love is a small word, but it means a whole lot. It means a whole lot. Jesus wants you to come to him. His arms are open and he acts in you. Come to me. I love you. I love you. It's what he's saying. And so our code, I love you forever. I love you with an everlasting love. A everlasting love. May God bless you and keep you is our prayer. Our homework today is to get a piece of paper and write or write a letter, a love letter to someone that you love and express your love to them or draw a picture of the world. Put a heart in the center of it and color it and make it pretty and then uh, put it on your, fa fam your family Facebook page and hopefully I get to see your work. And not only that, but you become a witness for the Lord in telling the world how much God loves you, he loves me, and how he loved the whole world, and how he died to save us all. May God bless you, little saints. The Bible tells me so. So...